I'm Sandra from my girlfriend's quilt shop and I'm going to show you one of the features that the Baby Lock Alt Air has that you can use to resize some of your designs. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna pull up a fun little design here um, of this little bunny. Okay, so I pulled up the design and then I'm gonna hit set. And at that point is when I can um, change the design in size-wise is what I wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my edit um, icon here and then I'm going to go over to size and at this point it brings up two different icons the first one is um, just a little square and that's going to change my size so the first thing I want to do here is I'm just going to make it smaller so maybe you want to use it on um, maybe a baby onesie or the corner of a, of a quilt or something and I'm just gonna make it smaller that way. So I'm gonna keep pushing that button there and it will bring it down approximately um, 10%. So that would change it smaller. Or let's go up and see how it can make it bigger. And at this point, it will, it will stop me as far when I can't do it any more. And we're there. So this makes it at about a little over six and a little over five and a half. So it makes it about 20% larger than the original size of the design, or it will make it 10% smaller than the original design. At that point, it does not change your stitches in any way. It just stays the stitch, the number of stitches in that particular icon. Now, say we want to change it larger or even smaller than that, and we can do that. So now we're going to push the little icon that has the little zigzag stitch in it, right there. It's going to take us back to our original size, which is fine. And at this point is where we can change it. So let's make it smaller and see how much smaller we can go on this. And we can either use the button here, which is going down, down, down. And at this, we're at three by two and a half. So it did bring it down quite a bit, which is approximately about 60%. And it will also change your stitches so that you're not having all of these little stitches all in one little area that can cause some issues with the stitch out. Let's see how big we can make it. So at this point, we're gonna just hold this button down and it will just make it larger and larger and larger as we go. And at this one, it can make it up to about 200% larger than the original design. So let's keep going and we're there. So at this point, you can see we've got one that's about 10 and a quarter by nine, almost nine and a half inches, which is a really good sized bunny that maybe you'd want to put on the back of a Levi jacket. But again, at this point, it does change the density so that you're not going to have um, spots or areas inside the design that don't have any stitches. So with that, it's a great feature to have on your machine. It's already built in. You don't have to have an added software to do this. And um, it will be able to stitch out whatever you want. If you have any questions, please reach out to my girlfriends and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much.